I'm Tim Danton, editor of TechFinitiv.com, and in late September 2025, I was invited to tour Intel's Fab 52 in Arizona. We weren't allowed to take photos or videos inside the building just outside. So consider this my virtual tour based on Intel footage. We will soon be soaring over Fab 42, which was completed in 2017 and is already churning out chips based on the 10 nanometer, 7 nanometer, and 5 nanometer processors. But all hail the new king, Fab 52, which you will soon be able to see in the distance, with Fab 42 in the foreground. Intel declared Fab 52 fully operational on 9th of October 2025, but operations began in July. Intel says that it had been waiting for Fab 52 to be running smoothly before making the official announcement. We are now heading into the Fab, where you will see Intel engineers in bunny suits. These help to stop particles such as dust spoiling the wafers. What do engineers do? They fix the machines that turn silicon wafers into processors. Machines I can't name or Intel will hunt me down and kill me. But luckily, I don't really understand what they all do anyway. Those crazy looking units you see above you are FOOPs. Boringly, this stands for Front Opening Unified Pods, which transport the silicon wafers between the different instruments. There are some facts that Intel is very happy for me to share. One is that building Fab 52 required five times more steel than the Eiffel Tower. Another, it took enough concrete to pave over 50 miles of four-lane highway. For now, only Fab 52 and one of Intel's Oregon Fabs will make chips based on its Intel 18A technology. Panther Lake, its next generation laptop processors, and Clearwater Forest, now known as the On6 Plus. To say Intel is proud of its 1.8 nanometer technology, the fact it was researched, developed, and made in the USA is an understatement. Note the huge USA flag at the start of this video. More importantly, this is the end result, a Panther Lake chip, coming to laptops in early 2026.